Right. In a dramatic U-turn, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has suspended a deal with the United Nations that would have given thousands of African migrants a temporary status in the country. The decision to withdraw came nearly hours after announcing the plan. Under the five-year deal, around 16,000 asylum seekers who are currently living in Israel and were facing prison or deportation would have been sent to Western countries including Germany, Italy and Canada. Netanyahu had earlier announced that for every one of those that were resettled in the West, Israel will grant one asylum seeker temporary residency, which means Israel could deport at least 16,250 migrants while granting temporary residency to an additional 16,000 people. Let's first listen in to what Netanyahu's uh, latest decision was all about. <laughs> עם שרי החוץ של גרמניה וצרפת. היו הרבה נושאים שהעלינו, אבל הנושא המרכזי הוא הביטחון, וכמובן הביטחון מול איראן ותוכנית הגרעין. הזמן נוקף, אנחנו יודעים שהנשיא טראמפ בעוד שבועות אחדים מקבל את החלטתו, הם רצו לשמוע את דעתנו, מתחשבים בדעתנו, רוצים לשמוע אותה. הערב אני אפגש עם בכירי הקונגרס שמגיעים לכאן, ואומר להם את בדברים הללו וגם בנושאים אחרים. כן, היה לי עוד מפגש בנושא אחר. גם הוא קשור לביטחון, אבל סוג אחר של ביטחון. הביטחון הוא מוחלט שלי. אחרי המפגש הזה, כמו המפגשים האחרים, שלא יהיה כלום, כי לא היה כלום. The sudden decision has left migrants and activists fuming. Let's listen in to what some of them have to say. Today you are demonstrating to the government to tell the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Yesterday we signed a deal to take 16,000 people to uh, another country. And now, yesterday night, we also we talk about to go to cancel that uh, deal. Uh, I don't know what it needed the uh, government of Israel to go in zigzag way. The last six years, the issue of asylum seekers, their suffering is something that's in my mind, in my heart daily. And now in the last two months, it has become maybe the most urgent thing in my life to stop the deportation. And yesterday, we were all in tears of joy when we heard Prime Minister Netanyahu. And this morning, we are just in tears. We can't believe that really he could go back on his word. Now, for its part, the United Nations still believes that the deal, even if it stands suspended now, was a win-win agreement. Uh, yes, there were uh, very uh, long negotiations to, uh, to agree with this number. It has to do with the, our capacity also to find places for people. So that's the main consideration. Uh, we also believe that uh, uh, Israel has an obligation to provide protection to uh, uh, most of the people who are in its territory. But we also understand the constraints that they are facing, and that's why we are looking into solidarity from other countries. Uh, so yes, it's, if you like, it's, uh, it was a negotiated uh, figure, based mostly on uh, what we think it's a realistic number of uh, places that uh, we'll be able to, to obtain in five years. Now, Aisha Sindhu joins me from the Vion Newsroom for more on this story. Good evening, Aisha. A big disappointment for the African migrants, but what explains this U-turn on the part of Netanyahu? Good evening, Ramesh. Uh, indeed, it can be described as a U-turn just hours before uh, he decided to suspend the deal. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister actually announced that he is uh, going to be party, his country is going to be party to the UN uh, brokered uh, deal as far as these migrants go. Now, the word is that uh, the Prime Minister has faced uh, immense pressure, not just from his party, but a number of right-wing allies who find uh, that this uh, allowing uh, of the migrants to stay back, even though half the number only uh, from the current 32,000 that uh, reside in Israel would have, uh, you know, given out the wrong message, so to speak, about Israel's policy on uh, migrants, on refugees. Uh, the word infiltrator has been used repeatedly um, by both uh, Benjamin Netanyahu in that statement on his Facebook page, as well as other uh, people who've commented on the issue, mo most of them from uh, right-wing parties. They say that these migrants entered uh, their country illegally and stayed back illegally and therefore uh, Israel can extend no amnesty to them uh, under current law and therefore they found uh, the agreement uh, running afoul to its policies. In addition to uh, uh, 
you know, expressing satisfaction uh, that the Israeli Prime Minister suspended the deal. Many of them have actually gone ahead and asked him to go, ahead, go and cancel the deal altogether. Uh, though the UN hasn't yet made a statement right. on uh, that particular facet.